Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, as you know, and I want to talk to you today about some strategies that you can use to stay productive while working as a remote salesperson. This is one of the most important areas for you to understand and to function in because you're going to spend more and more of your time, not only during the coronavirus, but for the rest of your career doing business online. Working from home has a lot of benefits, but it also requires a lot of self-discipline and focus. The trend of companies offering remote work to employees has consistently grown by nearly 50% over the last five years. So this is now a reality. More recently, we have seen the number of people working from home skyrocket in the era of social distancing. Uh, and that is especially true for salespeople. I'm a salesperson. Most people are in sales of some kind and our ability to contact and communicate with our customers on Zoom or Facebook or Skype and then to talk to them about our products and services and to make sales, this is going to determine our whole future. So this is really, really important. Working from home has a lot of benefits, but it also requires a lot of self-discipline and focus. Two of the most important requirements for success, self-discipline and focus. Uh, many years ago, there was an author, brilliant author, uh, who went down on the Lusitania, by the way, and he said, was asked, what is the secret to success? He said, it is self-discipline. And the best definition of self-discipline is the ability to make yourself do what you should do, whether you feel like it or not. He said, it's easy to do something if you feel like it, if you want to do it. It's when you can force yourself to do what you know you should do, whether you, when you don't feel like it, that is the mark of the truly superior person. So if you're new to working from home, you may have realized that motivating yourself to work efficiently when you're surrounded by all the comforts and distractions of your own home can be a real challenge. As you can see behind me here, this is my office at home. You see all the books and all the pages of material and work on my uh, desk and behind me and on the floor and so on. This is really, really important. I've written 86 books in this office and I have produced hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars worth of products and services in this office by using the same things I'm teaching you now. So to make sure that you're able to remain productive, even when you take your work away from the office, here are a few useful tips that you can use to succeed as a remote salesperson. Number one, keep a daily routine in place. Uh, I just uh, downloaded a summary of a, a new book that's come out and it's called something like um, uh, List Making Made Simple. And basically, your ability to make lists and to organize your lists and then to discipline yourself to follow your list of routines and activities is the key to your success. All successful people make lists. All unsuccessful people fail to make lists. Now, number two is create an organized sales follow-up process. Don't let any leads slip through the cracks. Once you talk to a customer, you should have a process of what you're going to do. Send them a message, recap what you discussed, send them information, and then, and then do that immediately. Here's the important point is don't do paperwork when there are customers still to be seen and still to be talked to online. So what you do is you work with your customers all day long, what we call this is working time, and then after working time, then you take care of your paperwork and your follow-up process. Don't do paperwork and busy work when customers are still available to be talked to. Number three is leverage phone calls. Is your quiet home time allows for one-on-one -on -one conversation with prospects. So you cannot change the fact that um, you are stuck at home, but you can make sure that this is really valuable time. So what you do is you talk, and when you talk to your customers, 
look them in the eye, pay very close attention, lean forward as I am leaning forward right now, and then get back to them with whatever you promised them that you would do. Number four, utilize video messaging and live demonstrations. Use tools like Zoom to connect beyond the keyboard. Remember, your future, your income, the quality of your life, your value to yourself and your company are all determined by how well you use video messaging and demonstrations. So keep arranging appointments, keep talking online, and keep looking face to face, eyeball to eyeball uh, to your customers. Number five, focus on results, not just time. Measure your effectiveness by how much you have achieved, not how many hours you have worked. One of the most important things, actually my, my uh, books and my articles and my programs uh, are called Time Management for Results, because everything is results. The results that you get are more important than anything else you do in the world of work. So always be thinking, how much am I getting out in terms of results? How many hours have I worked and how much money have I generated? How many sales have I generated? And focus on those activities that generate the greatest results possible. And finally, number six is practice effective virtual communication, both with your prospects and your co-workers. What this means is that read everything that you can on virtual communications. Uh, practice when you get new ideas. Uh, talk with your friends. What are they doing and how are they getting great results? How are they getting appointments and cutting out time so that they can achieve results? How are they actually making sales and closing sales uh, online uh, and on video? Because sometimes your friends will have tremendous ideas. Another final point is ask your customers and your prospects how they would like to communicate with you. What is it that they would most enjoy? What is the easiest way to communicate? And sometimes they will tell you, well, you know, if you could do more of this or less of that, or I like to talk to people in the morning and then leave the uh, afternoon uh, open uh, and so on. Now, I'd love to hear from you so my question today is how do you stay productive while working from home? What are the very best, most important things you do to get the greatest number of results, especially sales with people who actually buy and pay for your product or service? Leave a comment below and I'll be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching and remember, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now. If you enjoyed this video, and feel that it was valuable in teaching you about how to succeed as a remote salesperson, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.